hi and welcome back to my channel so today I'm coming in with the um, Wings of Wonder concept cards and the cool Kingfisher one but I'm doing a little different doing something a little different with this one so I've already decoupaged that bit up which is this bit and this bit on here I've pre-cut a piece of gold miri down from down to eight inches by five and a half then I've scored it at two and scored it at four so it's a, a fold tri-fold card <coughs> and I've cut these up as well these panels and that's the back one so originally it should make a card that goes like that with these bits in if you'd seen my other card that I made in my last video which just grab my card that I did so this is how let me just move that so this is how they're meant to go like that but I've decided I'm going to be a little bit different and do it a different way which I've seen on um, the Hunky Dory channel so, with this frame, I'm going to cut down a bit of this orange from my adorable, um, adorable brights, Hunky Dory Colour Block Brights, 8x8 paper pads, silk papers. So that's what we're using in this one. So I'm just going to cut this one down to, I just need to see what size this is. So it's like four, three and three quarters and five and a quarter. So I'm just going to cut this down just so it um, goes underneath the frame. I'm just going to cut it a little below the four and three quarters and the same with the five and a quarter here just so it doesn't stick above my frame and then to put this down I'm going to use some of my tape on a Just because this is on paper, sticking to paper, I've got a little bit of a paper thing there. I'm just going to bring this in, just move that out of the way. I'm just going to bring that in and place this down onto there, like so. It doesn't matter if it's straight. And then I'm here, I'm going to use this again. Just because I'm sticking down paper and this is going to be stuck on here so like that and then that's going to fold up like that and then with these two that one this one and this one are going to be placed on there and these this one here it's going to go onto there and then the other bit's going to go on the other fold on the other inside on the back side of it so for this one i'm just going to use some construction some construction not construction all purpose glue just on the back of there like so bring this in and then oops and then stick that on there and do the same with this bit like so and place that down onto there Like 
the same and then on here as well some all-purpose glue just because this is I'm going to keep it flat so turn that over place it in the center give it a bit of a press down make sure it's sat evenly and then the topper sentiment rather which says just for you it's going to sit down the bottom here you could put it up the top if you wanted it's up to you I like mine on the bottom and then just flip it over and then just put some all purpose glue on the back of this again and then stick that to the back of there like so and then the same with this one just on here and then this one is going to go just onto this bit here like so and then when you're standing it up it's going to stand like that I'll give it a bit of time to dry I'm not going to add any gems on this one just because it's purely got so much of the gold in it and um, it actually looks pretty neat to be f to be fair excuse me um, so yeah that is that one that's how it will stand like that I did pre-cut another one so cut it down to eight by five and a half and then score it two and score it four and then fold it in like that and that is your little tri card trifold card so that is that one I'm just going to put that to the side for the minute and then I'm going to come in with my second card which is going to be slightly different to that one I was going to do two the same but two the same style but I've decided to come in with a different one and I'm going to come in with so I did a puffing one earlier because I was having to play around um, it didn't go quite to plan so I'll bring this one in just to show you another idea so that is the puffing one and this bit here I put stuck down first off and then I changed my mind and wanted to put that one underneath but then I wanted to put I was meant to put the frame around that one which I forgot so I cut the, cut the bit out from in here and stuck that onto there so more or less that bit there and I'll show you on the puffing one so here's the puffing one so I cut this bit out here and stuck that on there and then with this one here you get the gold frame and I was meant to put that on this one before I put it on the blue border but my mistake with this one was I was sticking rather than placing before I stuck I stuck down then I decided I needed to pull them up to um, change them around a little bit so it didn't go to plan so I, that was my, my um, trial run for making a different style of card with the with these um, concept cards rather than using them how they're meant to be although they look pretty they are really nice when they're put together the way they're meant to be as well so some of them I will put um, do them how they are meant to be made so just having a look to see what um, one I want to go with now so I've already done Paul Fisher um, I've already done a puffin and I've already done the woodpecker so I'm not going to do another one of them so it's going to be the gold finch 
the um, Terran, which looks like a seagull to me, or the Swallow. And I might go in with the... I'm going to try the Goldfinch, I think. It's going to be a different style of card to that one I've just done. So I'm just going to put that there for the moment. I'm just going to put you over there. Um, I'm just going to get my few bits that I need to put together with this one and I'll be back to do that in a second. Okay, I'm back. So, what I've done, I've been trying to figure out what I'm doing. So, this is a 6x6 six six card, cut down, I mean cut from a 12x12, 12 12, then I've cut a piece of colour block brights out of this one the turquoise colour and then I've taken a sheet from the doodle dots and sketch stripes for the other one so we'll see we're going with the gold finch and it's got bits of blue in it that colour so that's the reasoning behind them two colours so I've gone ahead and I've cut these up already just to save a bit of time and I'm going to stick these two pieces to my card front just by using some tape oops I think this has just run out on me so I'm going to have to come in with my finger tape for now until I change the reel over in that one I'm just going to put my finger tape there and hopefully tear it off and then come in with my dye brush just to get this back in off of this and there we go throw that in the bin I'm doing mine as a tent fold so I'm just going to place this just on that edge for the minute and then stick that one down and then this one's going to come in on the top so just coming back in with my finger tape so when you watch the <coughs> watch the girls do this on their channel every day it's like they make it look so easy and they place this down and then they tear it it's like yep yeah, you make it look so easy so I'm just going to take backings off of this so I've gone with the dotty side If you don't push this tape down good enough, it won't lift the backing off, it'll lift the tape up as well. So just be careful when you're doing that. So I want the dots to go in this way. Just going to place that onto there. I know it could have gone a little bit further over that way, but it does not matter so much on that one. And then with this frame, or the card front I should say, I'm just going to cut this in half down the half mark because I need that bit there. And this one is going to, I've got a bit of acetate here, so I'm just going to pull these off the tape. So this is the red liner tape, so I've already gone ahead and placed this onto this one. And then I'm just peeling these away. Like so. And then place this onto my acetate that I've cut. 
I might turn it over that way and do it that way actually. Just trying to hold that frame down while I place this onto the top of here. Like so. So I'm just going to put that to the side for the moment. Get off. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this bit out from the middle. If I can get it in the right place. Oops. off on that. And then same on all sides. Hopefully come out. Let's get my scissors, got my little pair here just to tidy that up a little bit. If it'll let me cut it so I want to keep the frame. Grab my craft knife if I can find it. There it is. Just going to cut along there until that releases, hopefully. There we go. for a minute. Let me get my trimmer out of the way. I'm going to have to come in there and tidy this up. They're along the gold edge as neat and as completely as Oops. Hopefully that has cut away the bit that I don't want. Throw the bits away that I don't need. Come back in there again. Pull that bit out. Well, that bit's taken a little bit of that off with it. I'm just going to tear that along there. That's not going to show. 
just going to tidy that up a little bit and then I think this is where I want this to be just going to put that lid back on so I'm going to place this on here like so and I think this one's going to come in like that and then I'm going to do this one because I'm going to have the one that's got the little saying there the goldfinch is I'm going to turn this over this way because it's easier for me to see the, the folds than having it this gold side up because the light seems to flick off of it so this is the one I need here let's cut it a bit I'm just going to take that bit off of there. Hopefully, it's not too bad. <clears throat> I mean, my cutting skills on a trimmer are not 100%, so that's going to go alongside there. And I think this might go over there. I don't know. Actually, I might do away with that. Because that's going to sit over there like that. And it's going to be a shaker. So I might not use that frame after all. But I can save that and use it on something else. I'm going to go in with my scissors. And I'm just going to trim this bit out. Like cutty fuss. Cutty fuss. Fussy cut even. around that and then come in this way and fussy cut as good as I can it doesn't have to be perfect make sure I don't cut off his little foot go around his beak Bring him back in. Cut down there. Trim around his tail. If I can. Trim that off just to make it a little bit easier for me. going that way I don't really do fussy cutting because I'm not that good at it so I tend not to do a lot of this style of or this make of card because I don't really like doing all of this cutting out with things But for this card, I just wanted to use this little gold finch. I didn't want to throw him in the bin. So that's going to come in handy and use that in a second. So that bit I can throw away. I don't need that anymore. So for this one, I'm going to use some foam pads. And I'm not sure if this is going to be too wide or not. So I'm just going to have a look. Yeah, it is a little bit wide. So I'm just going to close that up. So what I might have to come in with is some of my hunky dory foam strips for this one. Um, I'm probably going to have to double up on these. It would have been better if I didn't have, or if I had wider foam pads, but I'll have to go with this 
fickle foam pads even. But this will work. Go as close to the edges as you can. Doesn't have to be straight. Make sure these are all like butted up because you don't want any of your shaker bits coming out. Of here, once you've got them in place, and hopefully, this is going to work. I'm just going to butt this one up. Doesn't matter if it's slightly over lapping. I was hoping to leave the back end on this one so that I could actually put it into place before I actually took the back ends off, but I don't think it's gonna let me do that. Just to see if I needed any more layers. But I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm hoping it's gonna work. Just putting that one up. So I'll just have a look to see if I need to put any more foam pads on. Which I do because it's not quite chunky enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, this, I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. Oops. And hopefully I'll cut this in half without cutting my fingers. No. Actually what I'm gonna do Use my craft knife and hopefully that'll work. I oh, don't know if I'm going to get it very straight, mind. Hopefully that'll cut through it. There we go. I'm just going to move that out of the way so I don't catch my fingers on it. I should have done this in the first place, but never mind. work hopefully at least this this one it's gonna stay where I want it to stay it's gonna be bite up as well just gonna cut this bit off and hopefully this bit here is enough to go across here which it is let's poke that bit in and then put this on here, put this on here. Yep, that should be perfect on there. So this I am gonna put in flat. Just because it's gonna have enough dimension on there with the foam pads that are going to go in this so I just need to make sure that this is going to be so it needs to go if I put move that above there it needs to go about here while well, I've got some wriggle time yeah that is perfect on there and then that other bit here is going to go onto here Adjustable foam padding mop. Yeah, that's going to go under there like so. So just because this is quite a chunky one. Now because my 
hunky dory, hunky dory scissors seem to cut through this a bit better than so I'm just going to place this down first just going to move that off just going to turn this around put it as close to the edge so it's got a little bit of yellow showing and then this is where this is going to go Move that over maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. And then I've got some what have I got here? No, not stars. Got these. I don't think they're gonna work very much. Actually, they might. Oh, just throwing them in the bin. These will work, I think. Just going to tip some in there. Oops, not too many. Go no too mad. Oh dear. Gone everywhere now. few too many I think on there. So hopefully they that should be alright there. Make sure all the foam pads are off the back. Just going to try and bring these in and around a little bit. And I think that'll stick a bit better once. I've stuck it down in place, now it's just getting it in place, so I'm sorry if you see my head. Right. That should be in the right place there. I'm just going to hold it up and give it a bit of a shake. So there is quite a lot of foam pads on these, on this one. I don't think should have made sure I got them off of there first. I think I'm a bit stuck over this side, still shakes around, a bit stuck to everything. But I'm just going to put these away if I can without spilling them all over my floor. I think these are copper and I got these from the works. Same with that foam pad reel that I was just using to stick that acetate front down. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to come in with this which is the sentiment. I'm just going to cut a bit, a few bits off of this. Don't know a few bits off. I can stick it on here. Oops, I've done that one a little bit too big. I'll just snip a little bit of that off. And then Pull the backing off if I can. And then, oops, I'm stuck to my finger. And then I'm going to place this one down the bottom here on this bit. 
all the best and then this little guy I'm going to put a foam pad on the back of him there and I have got here they are my little thin strips just place one on him at the back there on the bottom snap a bit off and then pull the packing off and then I'm going to place him round about there so he's sitting above made by me for you and there we have our second card so you still got whoops, still got these little bits left if you wanted to use them on something else or you could make for this one you could stick them two pieces together and you could make a bookmark you could use a frame on something else if you've got other birds which I might keep I'm not sure you can stick them two together make a bookmark if you like reading books excuse me that is all I do with them two leftover bits which is what I might do um, so that is the two cards two cards for this one, this video. And I'll just bring the other card in that I made, wherever I put it, behind me. So I'm just gonna move it out of the way. So I'm just gonna put my lid on this because so there is card number one and card number two. So two different style of cards that you can make with this concept kit. Shaker card, that one, and then that one. So there we have the two cards made today. So I hope you have liked this video and me showing you two different ways that you can use these concept cards in different ways to how they were made to be used. And when I come back in my next video, which will be um, so today is is a couple of days time when my next video will come out. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to come back with, but whatever it is, it's definitely hunky dory. Um, whether it be a card kit, it might be the perfect. Um, what was that one? Oh, the kitties. Perfect. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it. Or it could be one of the older kits that I've got that I've done a few bits with, a few cards with already. Depends on what kind of mood, what style of card, um, what um, kit I want to use when I come back. Because um, I'm still in the middle of making wedding invitations for my brother as well. So that's taken some of my time, which I'm enjoying doing because um, I designed them. So, yeah, so it would be hunky dory but I'm not 100% sure what kit it'll be it's definitely going to be either a cat one or it's going to come back in with might even do a little book or one of my other because I've got loads of little books so it might be something to do with that just to get some ideas because I haven't used any of them yet I've used a couple the oldie ones I might use one of the other ones that I've got um, yeah so I'll use some of the other bits that I've got anyway that is it for today so thank you guys for watching and for your support and i'll see you in the next video until then take care bye for now